guys, this is Tula from Lone Star Overland. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. I uh, want to say a quick thank you to all the comments and the responses that we've been getting with the content that we've been putting out. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and follow us on other social media platforms at Lone Star Overland. So why are we here today? Uh, and the reason we're here is to answer a question that I've been getting from a lot of you guys over and over. And the question is, how much does the unicorn weigh? And that's a really great question because I'm not sure I know the answer to it. Um, the, I guess, the idea in my head is going to be around the 9,000 pound range. Uh, considering all the gear that I've put on it, the bumpers, the you know, the winches, the swing out tire carrier, uh, all the gear, the drawers, all that, it's added up. Uh, so these trucks off the boat were just shy of 5,000 pounds. Um, so you know, by the time that you add um, bigger tires, lift kit, uh, and all of your accessories, it gets up there. So uh, my guess is 9,000, uh, but we're about to find out. We're going to take it up to uh, a local truck stop here in Texas, Van Austin to be exact, and run it across the Catskills and see how much the truck weighs. So stick with us and come along. Let's see how much the old girl weighs. Now we're off the scales and all you have to do now is go inside and we get the print out to see how much this thing weighs. Be right back. All right, we have how much the truck weighs. So I don't know if you can see it or not. But right there, it says 8,060 pounds. Wow. I uh, I was honestly expecting, you know, like I said earlier, 9,000. And man, uh, this comes in 1,000 pounds less. I, I can't believe it. Wow. Uh, it was still heavy. Don't, uh, don't uh, get me wrong about that. Uh, and I know... 
you know, others would say, man, that is just way too heavy for a rig. But, you know, but frankly, I'll, I'll tell you, I, I am, I am okay with that number. And here's why. I know that I tend to carry more gear when I go off the grid than your average person. And that's okay, I'm fine with that. And, that, and the reason for that is, is li I like having redundant systems, uh, just like cooktops. Um, you know, if I've got, a, if a cooktop goes bad, then uh, I wanna have a backup. So yeah, I could probably reduce uh, the weight in my rig probably, oh man, maybe two to 300 pounds, maybe. But that's nominal, so you're not. You, that means I'm only going to get it down at most, uh, you know, seventy seven hundred. Uh, so, you know, other things to consider too. Um, why the unicorn weighs as much as it does? Okay, you're talking about uh, ARB front bumper, uh, a slee uh, rear swing out tire carrier with a thirty seven. You know tire mounted to it uh, not to mention the other four 37s that I have with FJ Steely rims um, you know I've got the drawer system I've got the fridge the fridge slide weighs a ton hell the fridge the, the fridge slide I have to I had to have help loading it into the rig because it was so heavy and they say that even in the instructions when installing it so by the time you add fuel two tanks of fuel so one for the main tank two uh that's you know your auxiliary tank that's 40 that's 34 gallons of fuel just in the auxiliary tank alone so you can see where it adds up so that gives you an idea as to why the unicorn weighs as much as it does and you know quite frankly i encourage you go weigh your own rig uh and maybe it's different for you maybe you can skinny down and that you don't you know you don't want to carry redundant systems and stuff like that and that's fine it's personal preference uh not there's no right way or wrong way as long as you're getting out and having a good time but go ahead and you know fully load up your rig and then maybe out before you go out on the trail go stop by a truck stop and run across the cat scales and it, it, it's it's pretty easy just hit the button tell them what you're weighing you go you pull off the scale and you go in and they uh, give you the printout uh, and you'll know so anyway thanks guys for uh, you know tuning in we appreciate it again leave all your comments uh, give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already done so and we'll see you next time on the trail